Hey guys, so I couldn't quite figure out what the deal is here. You need to have um, the uh, is dynamic obstacle on to affect the nav mesh, but if it's on, it just removes the nav mesh. So I'm not sure what the deal is because you can make a collision box and offset it, and you'll see it affect the nav like over here, but you can't put it on top of the road. So I'm not sure what the deal is there. I put a answer hub thing. If someone knows, I'd really love it if you could help me out with that but until then we'll move on to something else because uh, for now this pretty much works I mean the citizens are walking along the crosswalks and they're staying on the sidewalks and it looks I mean it looks pretty decent all things considered could be a little bit better but I mean it's not you know it's good enough for uh, for what is it like two hours we're on so uh, we'll move on to doing something else which is the, uh, we're going to add some VR controls so we can get this working in VR. And the thing we'll do is we'll make it so we can grab the steering wheel with the motion controller. Now, there's a few ways we could do this. Um, we could make it so that the steering wheel is a physics object and we grab the physics object and it like tries to go to where the hands location is, which is like more accurate, but I tried making that system and I didn't find it was as good as a system that wouldn't seem as good. So we're just going to make it so um, you have the motion controller and when you grab the steering wheel it'll save that location and it'll try and kind of uh, like rotate based on your uh, Y position. So if your Y position goes this way then the steering wheel will rotate this way. I'm not sure you can actually see my mouse, it's like white on my screen, but it's black when recorded, so I'm sorry about that, but basically we'll, I'll just show you. So let's get started. We're going to add a, a uh, motion controller component, and we'll make this for the right hand, we'll just test with the right hand for now. Excuse me. And um, we're going to add a sphere collision to that and uh, we'll call that right hand collision and uh, just so we can see where our hand location is we're gonna add a sphere and we're gonna size it down to um, where is the box extent yeah we'll just size it down whoops 5.5.5, where is it? Right, we need to move the motion controller to the scene and then throw it out. So the sphere, we will, uh, I uh, can't see where it sizes. Shouldn't there be a radius for it? Hmm. Oh, we'll just size it down. I guess that's just for the collision ones. Yeah, there it is. I guess I got right confused. Okay, anyway. Uh, so that'll just show our hand location. Um, you know what? We don't really need the hand collision. I'm sorry. We'll get rid of that. We'll just use the hand itself. So, uh, we'll set a bool. Is gripping wheel. And uh, let's see, how did I want to do this? Right, so we're going to go to our controller, human controller. We're going to get off this is gripping wheel. And if it's false, then we do this. Okay, and... Uh, see here so right uh, right click in our controller and do um, type R and then bracket so you can get this really quick and then grip uh, grip one we'll get this and uh, we'll do uh, get our is controlling vehicle That's true. Uh, we want to get our mesh, which is the vehicle mesh itself. 
and uh, get bone location. Get socket location, sorry, it comes up when you search bone though. And steering W. And then get. Um, what do we call the sphere? Yeah, just sphere, we didn't name it, okay. File save. Get world location. Subtract these so we can get their length. And if this is less than 35, we want to start gripping the wheel. Set gripping wheel to true. And if it's not, just for fun, we can set it to false just to make sure. And we're also going to paste another one of these and uh, set it to false when we let go. And we'll comment this, grip wheel. Oops, just move this up. Okay, now if this is true, if we're gripping the wheel, we want to set the steering input based on the yaw. And there's one more thing we're going to have to do. We're going to have to get the yaw position and then... Uh, right, so we'll do that. Get relative location. And um, put this by right-clicking. And we want to promote this to a variable. We'll call it... Um, Starting grip offset. We'll set that there. Now we want to get the uh, relative location of this again. So we'll just copy all this stuff, paste it, and just move it closer together. Sorry, I'm losing my voice a bit. <clears throat> I apologize. All right, we'll subtract um, the starting grip offset from the yaw and add that to the steering. And uh, set steering just for the, um, uh, whoops, just for the add and BP. And we'll set the steering to this. Whoops, we need to range this, I think. Yeah. App to range clamped. And if I remember right, it was like minus 35 to 35, and we'll map that to negative 1 to 1. All right, now we'll load this up in VR. One thing we're going to do, too, is on begin play, all right, uh, reset orientation and position. And we're also going to add this to our key. Uh, just so we can reset our position if it's not right. You know, what's the problem? That's steering the input. There we go. It's getting a bit messy. Alright, so compile and save. Now we'll just test this in the VR. I just have to put the headset on, so it might be a bit of a pain here. Probably forgot something, because we always do. But we'll see. Oh my goodness. All right. <clears throat> okay, so that's not working out. Um, I think the problem is we're colliding with the sphere. So we'll turn its collision off. Alright, let's try again. Okay, that's better. And it's not working, so that's unfortunate. Let me just reset over here so I can... Yeah, it's not working. Okay, so we'll have to figure out what's going wrong. Do 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 do. Sorry about this. I swear I practiced this and then it just you forget and I don't know.
Oh, well, this isn't the problem, but we can still do this. Uh, so let's print string if this is true. And okay, so that's true. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, we didn't undo that, but that's still not the problem. Hmm. All right, let's print this and see what we're getting from this. Zero, okay, that's not right. Hmm. Shouldn't be getting zero. Oh, right. We're getting the sphere. We need to get the motion controller, not the sphere. Sorry about that. It's probably really obvious if you're watching and I just didn't see it. So we need to do that down here, too. Oh, no, no, wait, wait. We're getting the world location. Although we, yeah. So we need to connect that to this. We could leave this, but I mean, we could change it to. We'll just change it just for the sake of whatever. All right. So let's, whoops. <clears throat> let's check now. Okay. All right, so yeah, now it's working. Now we can spin the steering wheel based on our hand. Let me just uh, improve this a little bit. So here we go. Turn it over here, turn it over here. Now technically it's not attached, so you could just do it like right here. But, and the more you turn, the more it goes. So there's some improvements we can make here. But in general, this felt better to me than actually physically grabbing it using physics, which had a lot of problems. This still does have some problems, so we'll, uh, we'll work on it. Uh, one thing we can do right away is improve the sensitivity. So we'll go to our, uh, our clamp here and we'll change this to negative 20 to 20. So let's see here. All right, so now we'll try driving like this. It takes a bit of getting used to, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, sorry about the Guardian grid. I'm kind of close to my desk. Uh, uh. Uh, it's kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. So let's add uh, drive-by shooting next because why not? All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.